All right, you guys. Welcome back to another uh, deck, or not deck video. It's a uh, it's a game from the March Madness U150 tournament. Uh, today is going to be uh, Ampharos versus Evolutions. Um, now, this game is actually a very very quick game. Um, it is a perfect example of how uh, a deck can just brick, and uh, and a deck being able to um, to maintain a lead. Now, this wasn't necessarily a an example of um, uh, the strength of one deck over the other. It was more just drawing dead off like an N and uh, not realizing that Ampharos is... J uh, is it jamming? It's not jamming. Um, it's the Ampharos that says if you have a damage counter on you, um, you, uh, you can't use your ability. That's really what it was from. Um, but Greedy gets this, this nasty turn one where he's... Um, well, I, let's talk about the matchup first. The matchup idea is going to be, um, uh, I'm going to basically just try to one-shot stuff. Um, there's no fighting Pokemon in, uh, the Evolutions. Um, so, it is, um, it's kind of tricky to take these one-shots on stuff like Raikou and, um, Type of Coco and that sort of thing. So the way that I'm going to have to take the one-shots is either through, um, it's mostly just going to be from, uh, a Revenge Blast Flareon. That's really the only way that I'm actually going to be able to do a significant amount of damage. Um, but uh, if you see this turn here, uh, Greedy's going to get that early goop, so I don't, so I don't have like the, um, so I can't like Ooxie into anything. Um, I'm able to get a second energy on Eevee because if I'm able to blast in my deck, like if I get like a Battle Compressor or a, or a Sycamore or something like that, I could, I could take this like really lucky knockout. If I hit something off this Colverse for 8. Um, and I believe actually I just brick off the 8. Uh, there is the Flareon in my hand, which I do go ahead and evolve. Um, get the Floatstone down to prevent a, um, a Lysander based attack. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swoop this Eevee away. Probably, uh, presumably for a Baltoy. Nope, for another Eevee? I don't know what I'm thinking here. Um, I think I might just be thinning my hand. That could be it. This goes with a. Oh, it doesn't go for Baltoy. Oh, let's see, look, okay, I'm just trying to blast to the deck to try to get as much damage as I can. Okay, whew, that's what we're doing. Uh, so that's why I swooped to get another Pokemon on the discard pile. Um, and uh, I'm able to computer search. Uh, this is presumably either for, like, Battle Compressor or maybe a uh, Dowsing Machine for Sycamore. Um, could be one of those two. Kind of lucky that I'm able to get the computer search discarding two cards that are really useless in this matchup. The, the Espeon GX and the Dunce Parts. Uh, and so there you go. There is the Item Finder, Dazzle Machine, whatever, for um, probably going for, um, going to be for Oak. The rest of my hand was kind of dead. The Goop does help him so that I can't download this turn. So the way that I'm trying to get this knockout um, is going to be like draw into a Battle Compressor or Ultra Ball a combo or something like that. I'm um, gonna have to do it with no abilities. Muscle band helps, so now we're going 80. So a battle compressor does it for a knockout. Um, I'm gonna check some stuff here. Looks like it's gonna be a pal pad, so it's not an immediate dowsing machine for the computer search. So it's obvious that um, I don't have the knockout. So instead, I just finish my turn by evolving into Espeon. Uh, I feel like that's uh, it's you know six one way half dozen the other for if that's a good play or not. Um, I was gooped, so I can't uh, I can't use Chain Reaction Eevee. Oh no, but he but he evolved into Flaffy. Okay, he evolves into Flaffy, so that's the way I go there. I go into Leafeon in this scenario so that um, he can't Energy Flood. And actually, I have the other GX um, in my hand. I believe I have um, uh, Sylveon GX in my hand, and that's why I don't go for Sylveon. Uh, you kind of want to do the evolution, the promo Eevee. You want to make that go. Um, into a GX so that you don't have that downside of losing your turn. That's one of the real reasons to uh, um, to play the energy evolution EV, um, and you know the fact that it's also just a completely busted card. So there's that. Uh, Grady go ahead and takes 20 damage from the um, from the Frozen City. There he's looking for um, just kind of to set up his clay doll probably. Um, Probably going to be the card that comes out. The uh, the Ampharos that he has in play now is the one that if you have a damage counter on you, you don't do any, you don't get taken any damage. Um, 
So you can kind of see maybe my misplay here was not making that EV on my bench into a Baltoy. Like when I swooped it, I grabbed another EV. I probably should have swooped and grabbed Baltoy for maybe Claydol. Um, or even Porygon, so I could go to Porygon 2. Um, I think that EV might have been just a straight mistake. Um, simply because this Flareon is presumably going to be taking a knockout. And I could grab something like a, like a Max Potion or, or what have you. Um, to heal the Claydol from the um, flying flip, if that makes sense, right? Because, you know, I think his line of play here is definitely going to be like a flying flip to uh, all my Pokemon, and if that was a Baltoy, I wouldn't have been able to Claydol, and that sort of thing. So, uh, a flying flip does come out here. No abilities onto... Um, onto the Porygon 2 on my bench, so I'm only going to play one supporter this turn unless I can find that Max Potion, or even like an AZ and a way to get my uh, um, BTS back, but however, I, uh, I'm ending up just going to go ahead and do 60. I have nothing in my hand. He didn't goop or hex or anything, um, and like the 10 damage on all my stuff is not that big of a deal. So, uh, kind of crazy that my turn was literally just a draw, field blow, or pass. Um, I don't know what's in my hands, but it's obviously not good enough to sustain something. So this is just a straight brick um, off of that uh, Sycamore. If you remember, I Sycamored, and then June, or sorry, I Oaked. I coerced, Oaked, Oaked into nothing, and I ended my previous turn by Pal Padding. Um, and that was it. So I'm just kind of looking for some sort of top deck. I don't remember what's in my hand, but obviously it's nothing. I have no energy. Um, I might have like an evol uh, there's a, I see an Espeon, oh not Espeon, a, a Sylveon in my hand. So instead of doing damage, I could have evolved into Sylveon. And this is just going to be a draw. Take a look at my hand here. Wish I could see it, but I'm pretty sure it's a whole lot of nothing. I think this turn just ends with a Sylveon evolution. Um, Simply because I could, uh, if I had an energy, I'd be able to knock him out. But we're going to take this AZ play here. I take 10 on everything. Push the uh, Leafeon up and evolve into Sylveon. Yeah. So I could have taken a knockout if I had had an energy, maybe. And he didn't have the Fury Belt on there. Um, but instead, um, we're taking, or we're just going to end by evolving into Sylveon and passing. Uh, Greedy then goes into Trump card here, uh, muddling up my deck just a little bit more of like cards that I, you know, that are useless to me in, in top deck. I mean, in top deck mode, um, he's gonna be able to take a knockout on this Porygon two this turn. Um, all of the, my GXs on the bench are gonna take 30 damage from the Desert Runes being in play. Um, so let's see if I if I even catch that. Yep, yeah. So it's an extra 20 there. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, it's it's 20 from the Desert Ruins. I'm able to top deck a uh, uh, Professor Oak's Invention, and that's it. Um, got a whole lot of nothing here looking at the hand. Uh, be able to bounce for the Sky Field, and a straight pass across saves saves me 20 more damage on, or 40 more damage on both those EXs on the bench. Um, another attachment down to Ampharos. Oh, oh, switches it over to Raikou. That Raikou's ready to come and, and hit me. Uh, the Guzma comes out, sticking a bad Pokemon on the active. Uh, it's a good play there. Um, and I just, I, it's a whole lot of nothing going on here. Able to get an evolution and then a pass. And uh, I'm going to Oaks Invention me. This is just a straight, I can't top deck anything to get out of the poor hand. Um, and it's kind of remarkable that I hit a Colrus uh, double oak and went into just such a horrible hand. Um, I think it is going back to that Claydol misplay, perhaps. But <coughs> Grady's just going to start taking knockouts left and right. We're going to draw. I have an item finder in that hand of mine. And it's going to be a pass. And so the, the trump card saves the item finder from going to the oak. Um, I could top deck a battle compressor and then item finder for something to get out of this. Um, but it is already not looking great, especially that Hex there. And we draw, and uh, Touch and Energy, Item Finder for the Oak, and that's just, uh, that's going to be game there. So yeah, that is just a straight brick 
Um, that's how that game ended up going. I think Ampharos would have won anyways, but um, yeah, I just kind of do some fun things here, make him shuffle and uh, pass the turn and die. So yeah, I uh, hope you guys have fun watching. Uh, we'll see you next video. Oh, I gotta do this thing. Yeah, see you next video.